In this video, we are going to chat about the Nikon Z50 and about what comes after. I have the least amount of experience with the Z50 compared to any other current Z camera, so that makes me the perfect talking head to comment on it. The Nikon Z50 was launched in October of 2019, making it currently, at the making of this video, the longest running Nikon mirrorless camera without a version 2. More on that later. The Z50 is actually pretty loaded for a small beginner camera, having a BSI sensor, 11 frames per second shooting, and 21 megapixels. Although Nikon did decide to give it a 1 4000th max shutter. That's seriously insane on a film camera. On a digital camera, it's insane for another reason. There is almost no hope of fast glass on a bright summer's day. Anywho, all of that for a price new and or used between 620 body only and 1200 bucks with a lens. And that is kind of a problem. Although probably worth the money, because while I see the value of the Z30 for some people, the Z30 isn't the experience I want people to have when they're learning photography. And I've been asking for such a camera from Nikon for a while. Not for me, but for people entering the game. DSLR is dying, parts will disappear soon, and already DSLRs aren't really being made. We need that birthday present priced camera, something a mom and dad can scrape together for their baby for Christmas. Some people call them Costco cameras or Black Friday bundles, perhaps Walmart worthy. Nikon, if you hear this, I would be honored if you called them Z-Wade Wacky Packs. You're welcome. We'll talk about royalties later. In reality, the Nikon Z50 is a great place to start and allows for more growth into the future than any other starter camera in Nikon's history. But that's really only in features. You get a little more than you pay for compared to the DSLR days. For the same price, the Z50 smokes the D5600. Probably. But we still aren't there on price. This is not priced at a starter camera. So what do we do? Back in the day, four plus years between versions was to be expected. In modern times, it's more like two to four years. So I would say that the Nikon Z50 might be due for an evolution to the Nikon Z52. Not Z52, Z50II, that's two. Nikon should start regretting this number system now because it's going to get goofy from a speech perspective from now on. Since they insisted that these II cameras, not two cameras as a plural, but two as in two, i.e. two, are simply two, not Mark II, like Canon does. See what I mean? It's not too late to rethink this Nikon, we're still early in the system. That was the greatest phrase ever devised on this channel. Coming out with the second version of the Z50 at the original Z50's launch price would force the price of the original Z50, hopefully down to those levels where folks could comfortably pick a Z50 up from the store for someone who is interested in starting photography, or maybe for like somebody's birthday or Christmas. Or maybe, like me, they don't like anyone. The Z50 could go to a price that is within reason of an impulse buy, and they fall in love with photography by accident. Nikon, that is my story. Impulse buy, shoot, fall in love, now look at me, you have all my money. Do you see the opportunity? So I expect after four years at the making of this video that if Nikon plans on continuing the line, we will see a second version soon. So what should it look like? In my opinion, it is as follows. Actually, to make this super easy, just give it 4K video basics, a new AF system and all of the tracking features current at the time of release, a slight bump in EVF and back screen resolution, Get rid of the super stupid flip down screen, no one prefers that in exchange for a flip out screen like the Z30. And most importantly, Nikon, I think you're really onto something with the shutterless design on the Z8 and Z9. I hope all cameras moving forward have this. If it is possible while keeping the price reasonable for a crop sensor camera, do it. If it's not possible, at least give up one eight thousandth on the mechanical shutter. You did one four thousandth on the Z50 and that is so stupid. I'm probably 100% wrong on this prediction. I never get these right. But at the very least, I think what I'm asking for would be a super cool camera and successfully put the great little Z50 into a price range that is more achievable to people who are unsure if they will continue with photography and take that leap of faith or impulse and give photography with Nikon products a chance. Let me know in the comments what you reasonably think the Z50 II could look like. Stay sharp, YouTube.